Hi, everybody. Ben Moore is out having a lovely time with his wonderful girlfriend this week. So <laughs> it's too personal. We're playing Fiasco. It's too late. This is Fiasco. It's going to get personal. We're playing Fiasco, and we're going to do the playset from the Fiasco Companion, which is a really cool book that just helps you do better games of Fiasco. Uh, we're doing Fiasco High, which is set in a high school. Think. Think movies like Brick or uh, The Breakfast depressing. Club That's or stuff like depressing. that. Yeah, we're going to play it. You can play it with a soft What about Clueless? Yeah, we could go that way, too. Okay. Mean Girls. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking our high school is going to be pretty messed up. What about we'll The see. Faculty? Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> okay. It'd be weird to have like an Aliens thing. So for anyone who doesn't know, Fiasco, uh, they say, is a game of, what is it? It's a game of... Um, Damn. Darkly comic intersection of greed, fear, and lust with um, powerful ambition and poor impulse control. So high school's perfect place for that, <laughs> as they say. Okay, so I'm gonna roll the dice. Each of us has two white and two black dice. And we're going to make our relationships and our needs and our wants and our desires and all that. So right now I'm organizing them into ca uh, categories. Looks like we got three twos, four twos. We got a lot of twos. A lot of twos. We got twos. one, two threes. Too many twos. Too many twos. <laughs> no sixes. Oh, bummer. Uh, we could probably. That means we can't have secret friends. I'm going to re-roll three of these twos. Oh my god. Well, isn't the last one a wild card anyway? Yeah, but I'm going to just make, I'm going to. You can kind of do whatever you want. All right. Okay. Now we've got a pretty decent distribution. Two ones, three twos, three threes, two fours, four fives, and two sixes. So what we do now is I can go first just to refresh. Um, so the way this works is Kyle and I will have a relationship. We're sitting next to each okay. other. Kyle and I have a relationship. Elise and Kyle have a relationship. You okay? Yeah. You can I just do realized that I'm fingers. at the end. So do I have a relationship with Huber? You have a relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. with Huber. Okay. You'll just have to pretend that you're... So that rela this relationship card is with you and Huber. Huber and I have a relationship right here. Mm -hmm. So give me this one. This will go right between I us. I don't want to get in between the man up screw oh. here. <laughs> you you situated yourself in a way so that you have pretty good relationships. I have relationships with all I of I thought them. it was unusual that you sat in the middle, though, because I thought, I thought Ian will probably want this chair, yeah. but now I see. No, it's in the middle so I can facilitate <laughs> yeah. and look at all no, the No, I dice. get it. Oh, all right, let's, let's this, keep going. This is what happens. Fiasco. <laughs> this is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. Jesus. Um, <laughs> Big Lebowski. Oh, yeah, there will be swearing. <laughs> this yeah, high this, school, long yeah, swearing. This show is not nice, uh, or this game. You got a bunch of waters and I'm sorry, I, I gotta get hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. All right, so uh, for our relationships, first we build out our relationships. And we have these, I didn't bother making a camera because you couldn't really read it last time anyway, but we have this sheet, it's, I just copied it right out of the book, of relationships. So we can do, I can pick any relationship for myself or Kyle, or for Elise or Kyle, like we can all work together on making all of these, right? And you won't really know your character uh, your character won't flesh out until later on. Um, but I think that a, an interesting relationship would be for, um, and yeah, and you can all take your time and read through all of these too. Um, I saw one earlier that I really wanted to do. Where is it? Well, look at all the minions. I'm glad you gave us some sixes. Yeah, minions are funny. Um, hmm. One moment, thinking. Bernadette Daylight. And if any of you guys have a good idea for something that you'd like in the game, Go speak up. Impulse. Speak up. Fiasco Impulse. Fiasco Impulse. Um, I think this is not compelling viewing right now. Or listening. Of, Most people listen, and they probably okay, thought the video I like, stopped. I like, um, I like the idea of, of secret friends. Like one person's really popular and one person's a total loser, Those but they're are actually really friends, but they can't be in public. Yeah. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give, Elise and and Kyle the BFFs column. Mm -hmm. Does that sound good? Sure. So you can write on here, 
BFFs. But we got to get more specific on that. Right, write BFFs first and then we'll fill yeah, it out that's in a second. The main okay. category. So then uh, we'll go to the left. So now Kyle can pick. Uh, in particular, what kind of BFFs we are. You can, you can fill out which kind of BFFs you are, or you can pick another main category for the rest of us. So, uh, rest of us? For the rest no, of I us. like I like what you said. We can be secret friends. Okay, I, like, I think that's okay. always really good. I think that's a cool idea. Secret yeah. friends. So there's secret, secret friends, friends. Kyle and you don't have to be male or female. You can be. You don't nice. have to be what you are in real life. You can be whoever. But that becomes we'll clear once that. we establish. Yeah, we'll come everything. up with that in a minute. Yeah. So now at least you can pick a category. We've got uh, ones. We've got every number left. Uh, so you can pick the main category for me and Kyle's relationship, you and Huber's relationship, or me and Huber's relationship. Mm, I guess I'll go you and Kyle. Okay. And slaves to the man. Whoa. Okay. Slaves to so the man. So we are picking number four, slaves to the man. Okay, Hubesley. Um, ba, 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 da, 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 da. And do we get more specific? We will, yeah. So you can pick our... Subcategory oh, or these main categories? I just realized we don't have any black sixes. That really bums me out. That means we get no minions. It's fine. The colors don't matter right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to do you and I. Okay. Five. Okay, that is trouble. 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 Nice. Nice. So you can write trouble in on there. Trouble. So, yeah, that's a good category. So now it's my, my turn. Uh... Let's see. You guys don't have a category yet, so I should fill that out. Um, senior superlatives. All right. Kyle wants senior superlatives. <laughs> oh, God. I love that one so, so much. So uh, can you write that on, on your card then? Senior superlatives. That's stuff like coolest kid and fawning minion or smartest kid and ambitious minion, blah, blah, blah. So we can't do richest kid in school and devious minion unless we save that for the very end where the die is wild, but it's your turn. So you can fill out any of our subcategories except yours and Elise's because it's already done. We need this. We need the coolest kid in school and a fawning minion. Okay, so that means uh, Elise and Huber have that relationship. So yeah. one of them is the coolest and How one of them decide? is a fawning minion. We'll, decide. we'll figure it out as we go. We'll figure out in a minute. If anyone has an idea for a character... Elise is way cooler than me. Um, that could yeah. happen. So that's number one. Fawning yeah. minion? So right. Is that just like someone falling? You just love in? them yeah. all to yeah. pieces. See, yeah. mm. What? Do you not think that's very strong? Uh, I can't play cool very well. That's what this game's about. You're very cool. You're uh, the coolest. We'll support I, I, these, you. aren't, these aren't the categories I would have chosen. I'll say that right now. That's <laughs> cool. Getting lit. Oh, you weren't saying it. That's why it's a group game. That's why we no, play with more than one that. person. I thought it was like this No, it's everybody's you. group. Oh. Everything's a group. We're not done picking stuff yet, though, so chime in more now. Um, if you don't want to be the cool one, you don't have to be. He could be the cool I mean, one, yeah. you could be the... No, because I'm too much like Pervins. Pervins, yeah. And, uh, and that's but all, that's, that's, that's your no favorite fun. kind of character. You're good at that Yeah, but I do, it, I do it all the time. Yeah. And in life. So, at least I... Also, it, it would make sense if you were the cool one because you're secret friends with Kyle. So that oh, means the true. coolest kid in school yeah, has yeah, to have yeah. a secret loser friend. That makes way more sense. Uh, okay. Why couldn't my minion just be my secret loser friend? Your minion is that's public, not how it works. He, he's your public friend who yeah. like sits yeah. at lunch table. But with I mean, you. That, he's on. He's the relationship that you have there. So we have to figure that out. Yeah. Whose turn is it? Uh, it is Elise's turn. Elise's turn. You just chose that. Yeah. Okay. And I'm choosing a subcategory. For subcategory for me and Kyle's slaves to the man, or Huber and my trouble. Pair of creepy outcasts. Yeah, I know. I, lo I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble? I'm going to have to go undercover cop and the one who knows. Yes. Oh, cool. Good pick. Good, yes. pick. Good pick. So that's Trouble. Yeah. What number is that? Five? And the one who, who no knows. one else knows. Yeah. The one who knows. So we'll have to figure that out. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> okay. Now it's Huber's turn. You can fill out... Uh, pick our relationship. Slaves to the man. Yeah. Me and, me and uh, Kyle. We don't have any sixes, uh, but everything else is fair game. Oh, shoot. Teacher I didn't see. Yeah. Uh. There's also authority figure in ne'er do well. Yeah, that's pretty good. The devil in me, but we didn't get the devil in me. Oh, we don't have a six. So we have everything but a six? We could save six. We could save we that could if you want. We could save it if you really wanted to do it. Um. 
Toe Chairs is yeah. a stupid I like, prompt. I like committee. that one. I like That's that pretty one good. Yeah, all right, we'll go two. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Co-chairs of the stupid prom committee. To me, that implies neither of us like doing this. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm disappointed we didn't get the you don't think you're related, but you totally are, because that could have led to some pretty uncomfortable <laughs> sexual situations. Oh, wow. Yeah. We can we can incorporate that into the story anyway, uh, if we want to. Okay, so now let's look at the next three pages, because every relationship uh, has needs. Has well, it has either a need, a location, or an object linked to that relationship. Okay. So it has to be something that is very, very tied to your relationship specifically. It can't just be something that one of you, it matters to one of you and not the other. It should, if we do it right, it should be something that's big time for both of you. Got we should it. probably have two needs, one location and one object between the four of us. Sure. Uh, generally that's the best way, but it doesn't have to be like that. Uh, so now it is my turn to choose something. Uh, I like, I like needs. Let's see. Um, we've got things like get into, get out Which of, card? get revenge. Is this on the yellow card now? Yeah, this will be on the yellow card needs. that you write under your. Well, don't necessarily write need because you might get a location or an object. Oh, okay. Uh, that's why we haven't fi fi filled that in yet. Okay. Um, I mean, should we should we go for? Br oh, we don't have any sixes. To get away with murder would have been. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, if we really want to, we can do that. It That's says cheating. in the book. No, no it says in the book that if you really, if something speaks to the group, the whole point is having a good game, not yeah. just doing what I mean, dice tell you to do. I like the dice, so I like rolling the dice. All right. Getting into the spring musical might be cool. Or Apple Valley <laughs> After School Jesus Fellowship. Oh, my God. Wait, who are you choosing a need for at the moment? I don't uh, know. Anybody. I'm just <laughs> looking at the well, That's a I reference just... to Jenny Tabuno. <laughs> yeah, there's Mike Tabuno and Jenny Tabuno. They're, right. like, popular yeah. or something. But one, one, some people hate them and some people like them, I think. Um... Uh, well, who am I? We're slaves to the man, co-chairs of the stupid prom committee. You may or may not be an undercover cop. Yeah, no, I and I may yet. or may not know who that is. <laughs> yeah. The cop is, the cop is the fawning minion, or the person who knows about the cop or the cop is the fawning minion to the coolest person. Ooh. It seems like it'd be interesting if the cop is the, the fawning, fawning minion. minion. Yeah. 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 So you're the cop. Right. Okay. And the fawning minion. And the you're fawning the, minion. You're the, the one who kid. knows. Okay. You're some loser that the cool kid is a friend with. Yep, 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 absolutely. And I know about the cop. We're both on the prom committee. And mm -hmm. the cool kid's getting into drugs, selling them. Yeah. So basically, this is the plot of... The 21 Jump Street. 21, 21 Jump, Jump Street. Street. <laughs> and, <laughs> and 22 Jump Street. And 22 they, Jump Street. They do acknowledge that it's the same plot again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. All right, so... Um, ooh, to get respect... If we wanted to get respect through character assassination... Or one of those, or just I, I could just do the the the. Um, Dude, what? By standing up to the forces of darkness. Yeah, that's <laughs> get so some vague. Buffy, get some Buffy in here. Oh my God! I'll just so pick, Buffy. What? <laughs> okay, what? What are you gonna say? I think that'd be really good for why you're keeping Huber secret. Why I'm keeping Huber secret? Yeah, be, like you're keeping his secret because you want to stand up to the forces of darkness. <laughs> okay. Because, like, for some reason... But see, then, the problem with that is, that means I want to keep the status quo. Yeah. I don't want anyone to know he's a cop. Yeah, 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 because you want to be his sidekick, basically. What, would, it be, would it be more dramatic if I did want people to find out he's a cop? Yes. Well, keeping a secret is always more dramatic than revealing it. I mean, my, worry, my only worry is, in Fiasco, it could just not come up. Which would be great. <laughs> Think about a movie but it's a whole about relationship that has nothing cop. to do with anything. And it never comes Never up. been kissed where nobody ever knows that she was a writer. <laughs> really? No, I mean, that, that she, they find out. But like, well, oh. imagine a movie where she gets away with it. Yeah. That'd be boring. Okay, so, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so need to get respect for the Slaves to the Man is what you picked, yeah? Uh, it, if everyone likes that. Who I can is this put for? It, me and Kyle. Oh, okay. Or I could put can, it on someone else. Can Hubers be that he's a cop and he's investigating a, getting a case, but he also wants to get a really great date for prom? <laughs> is, wait, be. which one is that? To get love? By showing up at prom with an astonishing date under to get respect. <laughs> he's a cop. He's like 27. He also <laughs> really wants to get a really good date. A really for prom. good date. So pretty much Jonah Hill in 21 Jump uh, <laughs> Yeah. But about that, that would also have to be your need as well. Yeah, that has to be your need oh. too. You have to share mm. it. I mean, it could be he wants you to go to prom with him. Oh, then that could be why you're the cool he's kid. funny. 
Like but he also has to bust me. He's a cop in love with you, but he wants to bust. That's the plot of Twenty Two Jump Street. You don't. You, just, <laughs> you don't necessarily have drugs. We've added that. Like he doesn't necessarily. Yeah, yeah. We can yeah. add other things. Where? What is this? What? What goal is this? I, uh, maybe. Maybe Hubert and I both want to get in the spring musical. Yeah. Well, we just have to pick the category. Or we right want now. to get into Jenny Tabuno's so, world. So yeah, what I like about this undercover cop, there's not necessarily something bad going on at the school. He could have <laughs> just been assigned to the school and then is just having a good time. He's like a, like, a, like, <laughs> like an Air Force Marshal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just a school cop. Yeah, undercover party, cop. Party cop. Yeah. Party cop. Michael Huber mm. is party, party cop. cop. I would watch that movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, well, which category was the one you were just talking about though? The date one? Oh, to get respect. To get respect. Well, how about this? I'll give. I'll give. I am really into the spring musical, though. Is that in to get respect? To too? get into number one. Oh. I don't know how we would play that. To get revenge, seducing a teacher. I think we need like. If one goal, if one need is to get respect, and one is to like get revenge or get away with murder, then 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 the pot will be stirred. And if it's murder and he's a cop. Then that could work out. Yeah. It'd be really good if we had to get away with murder, and he's a cop, and I know he's a cop. Yeah. That could get pretty nuts. We're doing too many needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys to get respect. The the cop and the and the really cool kid. So you write on your yellow card. On the yellow card, write need to get respect. There's a Canadian band called Yellow Card. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah, but. gross. Everybody's heard of Yellow Card. Okay. They're terrifying. I know. <laughs> uh, okay, now Kyle, you can pick an, one more need, an object or a location. So there's actually some good objects here. Okay, let's get into those. These are good, these are good, these are good. Uh, Try to make them cray cray. Um, ooh, okay, okay. You know how I said need, that you two need, need a secret? Instead, you have an object that's wrong. Oh, we don't have a six. All right, but you have an object together. Uh, Who does? You and Huber, okay. the undercover cop and the person keeping the secret. So object? Yeah. Um, let me pick one. It is three, dangerous. Okay. Dangerous object. You have a dangerous have object. A dangerous object, so write dangerous. Or we gotta pick the object still. Yeah. Okay, Elise, uh, you can do one more need. A location or an object, or you can fill in our object, or pick a location category, or an, fill in your need with Huber. Lots of options. Yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. I think we are required to have the D and D basement as our special place. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Oh, <laughs> where's that? The, for the secret friends, our locations five our special place. Oh my God. We play, have play to secret have. D and D. That's pretty funny. Yeah, for the cool it. kid, that's pretty funny. At least she doesn't feel it. Doesn't no, no, no. no. I, sorry, I was just reading these as. as. Apple oh man, Valley some of these are so point. good. What locations? The objects. Yeah, objects oh, are all good. Objects, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, you have to do in dangerous now for objects. Oh, I have to to pick within dangerous. If I you're can't. if you're picking if you're filling out the object, we've already picked dangerous. Oh, so I you'd see, have to fill in that subcategory. Change. Or you can pick the main the the main category of a location. I like change purse stuffed with random dusty pills. <laughs> We have a one. We got a one. Uh, do we have a five? Yes. Yep. Because that loaded snub nose 30, uh, 38 revolver could. I mean, yeah, that he's a cop, undercover cop. That would make sense. All right, let's the revolver. You guys think, or the sure. random dusty? Pill? <laughs> uh, Maybe guns always spice things up. Yep. Right. Yeah. What is a snub nosed revolver? It's really short. You can yeah. hide it in your boot. Okay. And I, you two share that in common. I do yeah. like the box of condoms in a brown paper bag. Yeah. Wait, who is the gun? You and I have a loaded snub nose 38 oh revolver. Oh my god. Okay, so now uh, Huber, uh, you can pick uh, a location main category. You can fill in your need to get respect with Elise, or you can pick a new need for uh, me and Kyle, or Kyle and Elise. Uh, but the, I like that location. If you wanted to do the D and D basement, you could do that for Kyle and Elise. Yeah, then, I think we have the dice for it. We do. We would need a five and a two. We got that. Yeah. Do you want to do the D and D basement for them? Yeah, out of uh, obligation. Cool. <laughs> out of obligation. Out of obligation. Okay, D &D. so that's out a five. Respect. Okay, that's that not on your need. That's our on special place. Your location. We found a way to implement D and D in fiasco. In fiasco. So your secret relationship. It seems like the cool kid 
likes to go and play D and D with this reject, who's also on the prom committee. So you're probably not like a goth or something. You're probably like a just like a smarty pants. I don't know. Then I'm not. Am I cool? You are. Actually you're cool. You're cool, actually but you're cool. secretly a nerd, but you're ashamed. This is like my high school experience. But yeah, this is gonna get really intense. Okay, all right, let's keep going fast here. Okay. Uh, now whose turn is it? Mine. Okay, so that gives me a need. <laughs> we already know that you're D&D basement, so we can just, whatever. I'll, do, um, I'll use that on my turn. Okay. I'll do that in my turn. Um, okay, so we need a need. Yep. Uh, or objects, or locations. No, we've great. already got an object and location. It's, it, it, okay. it, it keeps things moving better, I think, when there are more needs than other stuff. Sure. Um, all right, so looking at the dice, revenge. we could do to get into or to get revenge. Revenge. Oh, revenge, revenge sounds pretty good. Yeah, baby, up. Revenge. Okay. At least I'm sorry I'm going to pin that on you to decide what the revenge is because... Revenge. There's one other thing she has to decide, too. Okay, our special place is D&D table. Is that what it's called? D&D basement. The D&D basement. <laughs> the D&D basement. So Huber's the undercover cop. Mm-hmm. Who are you, Ian? Me? Yeah. Uh, I don't really have any... Uh, Thing yet. I'm, I know that he's a cop. Mm-hmm. I know he has a gun, and I know where he keeps it. I am on the prom committee, uh, and I need to get revenge. So I'm thinking maybe I'm like jealous. You need to get revenge on that jerk, Mike Tabuno. Awesome. Is that is that? Oh, it's Elise's That's turn. That's one, one and a three, pick. right? It's either the popular kids or that jerk, Mike Tabuno. Well, actually, the last dice is random. Yeah, the last oh, okay. one's random. So at least gets to pick to get respect to either or to get fill revenge. Out your and Huber's to get respect need or our need to get revenge. So uh, one of them has to be a one or a three if we're following the dice. Uh, what's what's uh, to get respect? One is through character I, assassination. And it's three is by standing up to the forces of darkness, and that's what he wanted. Uh, I wanted the prom date. Uh, well, oh yeah, can't can we get. Do that? We can that's do fine. we can do whatever we want. Uh, we can stick to the dice. Um, no, we can do the prom date if you want. If it's do you more like, interesting. Do you prefer the darkness one, Huber? I like them both. He does, but I don't know how we play it. Yeah, I, I like it might be a little. I'm just thinking of Buffy, because I really like Buffy. Yeah, but I don't know if that's what they mean. Like, I don't know if it's like vampires and stuff. <laughs> it could be. Forces of darkness? Yeah. <laughs> they say that. Like, yeah, but you remember being in high school. The forces yeah. of darkness were like the teachers. teachers. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, if you want to do the prom date, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, we'll just we'll do the last turn for that. So, I mean, just do it. Right okay. Now. We can both of these can be wild. We can just do what's interesting. So, to get respect by showing up at prom with an astonishing date. So that means he wants to show up at prom with an astonishing date and, and so do you. And so do you. It doesn't have to be the same person. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking maybe the cop wants to go with you, but who knows? That's up to you. Yeah. Clear my head, man. I got to get all this straight. Yeah, we'll yeah. go no, through I'm it in a second. Confused. We'll come up with but... names and stuff in a second, too. Um, okay, so now it's Huber's turn. You get to fill out our to get revenge, and you can pick any of them. To get revenge on that jerk Mike Tabuno. But who's Mike Tabuno? It, sh- it should be on the popular kids because we used our random dice on this one. Oh, we should. You, we uh, should so we only have one. one. Okay, if that, I feel if like that's it, if that. Yeah, if that's. We've been going spin. by the rules yeah. the whole time. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. On the popular, on the popular to get can revenge, Mike and that makes sense because we're popular yes. kids. Oh, and we're planning the prom. Yeah, we're planning the prom. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's dangerous. That's really dangerous. I love that. Here, let me take what date I want. Also, I've got a gun, and yep. I know who's a cop. Mm-hmm. This could get crazy. Okay. okay, so now everyone take a second to come up with your name and, and who you are. I think I'm going to be a girl. And maybe real snotty, but I don't know. This is the hardest part. There's so much thought that goes into this. <sighs> okay. God, that's classic. Didn't you use that before? I used it in our skit. 
Which skit? Man, I'm just, uh -oh. Okay. Introduce yourself, Huber. I am Jack Joyce. <laughs> Jack Joyce. Jack Joyce. Is that a, what's, author? No, what's, what's <laughs> cool about that is that's the name the undercover cop chose. Yeah, yeah. It's he the gets, most cop name. He gets a second chance at high school. He's like, I'm going to be Jack Joyce. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be Max Power. Um, that's funny. Oops, my mic fell off. Sorry. Sorry, viewers. Okay. All right. My name is Stephanie Quimby. <laughs> I'm I'm a co-chair of the prom committee, but I'm only doing it because uh, I sort of had to, and I want to get revenge on the popular kids because they burned me. <laughs> burned. Uh, um, write your name on the backs too. It's easier for us to see then too. My name is John Court. Uh, I like D and D. Uh, I don't like the popular kids because uh, they're like me to me. Um, and generally, uh, <laughs> my best friend is this person next to me. Doesn't have a name yet, but uh, she is pr she or he is pretty cool. <laughs> 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 Who are you? I don't know. Tanya Slater. Tanya, Tanya Slater. Slater. That's a good name. Sounds like a popular kid. Mm -hmm. um, whatever. She doesn't give a shit. Popular cool. kids always have last names that sound like they could cut you in half. Yeah. Slater. 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 Tanya Slater. Cool. Okay. So how this game works is it's Jack two choice. two acts with a tilt in the middle. Uh, we each get two scenes per act. Unless we're running out of card in Act Two, then we'll just do one or something. Um, uh, and you act out your scenes. Uh, it can involve other players. It can involve NPCs that one of us will fill in uh, and and pretend to be. But we are playing them, so they're not quite NPCs. Yeah, they're bit people. Bit bit, bit characters. characters. Yeah. And um, so for this, the what happens is just a refresher. During the scene, whoever's not in the scene, so like if the scene is between Elise and Kyle, Huber and I would silently look at it. It works best if you can do it without interrupting the flow of the scene. Huber and I would be like, this is going pretty well, right? So whoever's seen it is, we pick a white die, and we'd be like, okay, this is going well for your character. This means that you succeed in whatever your goal was. So like if you're trying to convince her to tell people about you or whatever. We're like, yeah, it goes well, you do it, or whatever it is, you know? So then uh, that's a success. That just means you steer, the, the scene is steered toward a successful end for your character. If you get a black die, it means it's a failure, your character doesn't get what you want, the other person's like, no, fuck you, get out of here, you know? Yeah. And then in act one, we give these dice away. In act two, we keep them for ourselves. That'll become important later on for if we see how we live or die, or whatever. Also, characters can die. Your character can die. It's fine. Uh, you'll just Perfect. play. You yeah. You'll play a flashback or um, various Ghostly other things. Ghostly yeah. <laughs> Like when your turn happens. But I mean, it can it can be pretty crazy. So don't be afraid of of going there. Usually in Act Two, things is, is when things get real nuts. Um, yeah. So. Um, Usually things start off just kind of whatever. I can start. Oh yeah, one other thing is you can choose to establish your scene or resolve your scene. If you choose to establish, you say, okay, I'm here with uh, Jack Joyce <laughs> in the art room and we're making out or whatever. And then, uh, um, but you can also choose to resolve, which means if you establish, everyone else chooses your outcome. If you choose to resolve, um, uh, everyone else establishes the scene and then you choose if it's a good or bad outcome for your character. Tanya, okay. what is our goal? What is our need? You and I uh, need to get respect by showing up at prom with an astonishing date. Okay. Okay, yeah, l l should we run through all that again? Sure. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so, you and Huber are the coolest kid in school. I am the coolest kid in school and then he is a, a fawning minion of mine. Fawning minion of Tanya. Mm -hmm. We both want to show up at prom with an astonishing date, mm -hmm. I am an undercover cop, 
and I and know he's Stephanie a cop. knows, and we share. Knows. I'm the only one who knows. We share a loaded, snub-nosed 38 revolver, which I figure is your service gun, that undercover gun, and because it, it, it is kind it of is. small. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just know where it is. I saw it. All right. Tell oh, and then boot. you asked him about yeah. it. Tell That's probably how you found out. I found out. I asked you. I yeah. called you out on it, and I'm using it as leverage. Okay. Ooh. And then uh, you and I are slaves to the man, co-chairs of the stupid prom committee. And we need to get revenge on those goddamn popular kids. Yeah, I'm thinking that's why John Court joined the prom committee in the first place, is to get revenge on the popular kids. Maybe we both oh, hate Tanya. Uh, my relationship with be. Tanya actually is best friends forever. Uh, mm. We're secret friends, so like, I'm actually pretty cool with her. Uh, location of our relationship is our special place, which is the D&D basement. Uh. Is that your basement or hers? Uh, it's not my basement. Yeah, probably your basement. <laughs> Actually, there's a really cool guy named Rob. Uh, we go to his basement. Uh, it's <laughs> Just to be clear, it's not a D&D game with just the two of us. There, there are several other people at the table. But they're all 27. <laughs> but they're all 27. <laughs> Rob's, uh, Rob's your cousin or Yeah, something? Rob's a really cool guy, though. He's really cool. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm writing that. So does everybody, everybody get... How to do it, basically? Absolutely. Start well, us off. It, it'll Let's happen. Go. Okay. So I'm going to say that I'll establish a scene uh, where um, Stephanie Quimby, for reasons unknown, has snuck into the men's locker room to do something. Who knows what I'm working on. But I find Jack Joyce oh, in... The locker room alone. Time of day. What time is it? It is two fifty-seven, right after PE class has let out. Okay. And they've Did moved I just on get out to of PE. You yeah, but I'm you're, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. you're <laughs> lingering. Okay. Okay. So I, I go in. I'm I'm digging in a in a locker okay. in the locker room. Hey, what the hell are you Whoa! doing over here? <laughs> What are you doing in here? What are you doing in what the are you men's doing in locker here? room? You're in the men's locker room. Yeah, well, you're supposed to be in class. I just got out of PE. I'm, I'm toweling down. Dilly I'm sweating. Dally. Dilly dallying. Let's nice. not, let's not nice, switch this back on me. Stephanie. What are you, like 35? No. Look at your dick. <laughs> Whoa. What are you, like 35? What? Hey, don't go looking down there. Well, it's right there. This is the men's locker room. I ask you again, what are you doing in here? And what are you searching for in this locker? Uh, that's none of your fucking business. It absolutely is my business. What are you, business. a cop? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty on the nose. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what kind of fantasy world you're living in. Stepping in men's locker room, staring at dicks after well, lunch. Well, you're not supposed to be in here. I you're am. supposed to be in class. There's a 10 minute shower period, which ended five minutes ago. I know the schedules. I am planning prom. Then where the hell are you supposed to be? I have a free period. A badge I falls out of the locker that says huh? Mark Smith. You are a cop! It's my Halloween costume. Halloween now you was four it. months ago. For next year, I had to plan ahead. I got to plan in advance. You had, to, you had to plan ahead, and your costume is a fucking police officer. Yeah, the named, party named police. Ma Mark Smith? Mark Smith? Mark Smith. Who the hell is Mark Smith? You are! This is an official looking badge. A single bullet falls from where the badge fell from. My God! <laughs> These are bullets! You have a gun in school? I'm telling Haven't you. Haven't you ever heard of Columbine? It's a costume. That is a real bullet. I know bullets. My dad had a gun. Well, I'm not gonna have some fake costume. It's gotta be the real deal. There's a walkie-talkie in the locker. <laughs> hey, Mark, how's your undercover <laughs> cop stuff going? <laughs> Listen. What? What? You're an undercover cop! Listen to me right now. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. Listen, Mark. Hey. Listen. Listen. If you tell anyone about this, <laughs> what? What's I'll fucking it? kill you. You Whoa. can't do that. You're a cop. What's in it for me? What's in it for me? You can stare at my dick. I don't, I'm not oh, interested you in your mind. dick. If this may surprise you, but I'm not interested in your dick. Then what the hell are you doing snooping around that's, in the men's locker room? That's none of your fucking business. Listen, I will shoot you in the face if you tell <laughs> anyone about this. Are we clear? 
We're clear. Okay. But now you're gonna do something for me. You've ever heard of somebody named Mike Tabuno? That jerk? Yeah. He's what, a real jerk. What about it? This is his locker. Well, what, what, is, what do you got on him? I want you to plant some drugs. I was looking for some drugs. He doesn't have any. He's clean. You should plant some drugs. All You're right. a cop. Or well, maybe the whole school gets to know. We're on the same page. You could shoot me in the fucking face. I don't care. We'll plant some drugs. Good. All right. <laughs> That's a white to Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, okay. That <laughs> escalated. I'm going to give that to Jack fucking <laughs> Joyce. Okay, so now it's Kyle's turn oh. to establish or resolve a scene. All right, uh, well, let's establish a scene. <laughs> We're gonna meet John Court and Tanya Slater at uh, Rob's D and D basement mid game. Okay. Actually, the game just ended because you know Rob's gone back upstairs. Okay. Hey, dude, let's get some beers. Yep. Yeah, dude, yeah, right. I can't believe Tiamat killed us right at uh, the end, no, man. Dude, bullshit. Shit. Next time we'll get him. Yeah. We're upstairs now. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tanya, that was pretty cool what you did back there. Thanks. Yeah, it's just, I, 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 with the armor class that I have, it's just there's, there's no way that I, I could have defeated him. But, you know, I, I tried what I, I could. Hey, I got to say, you're pretty cool for a popular girl. Don't say that. <laughs> it's just like, most of you... Most of the other kids at school are kind of like jerks to me, you know, and it's like cool that you're like down here and like you know what an armor I'm not is. cool with you. We're not friends. Oh. <laughs> what do you What do you mean? What do you mean? We're not friends. This doesn't this doesn't make us friends. 2 minutes ago, you looked me in the eyes and you said, "I appreciate you." Did you just try to touch my boob? What are you doing? I'm gonna call the cops. I, I swear it was your shoulder. I tried to touch your shoulder. It's just like. Hey, what are you guys doing down there? Uh, In a room. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, cool dudes, cool. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go upstairs and grab Seven Up. Do you want a Seven Up? No, I don't. I'm gonna leave the house. In ten minutes, you wait. 10 minutes before you leave, okay? We're not leaving at the same time. Wait, like, you think there are people watching Rob's house? I don't know. That's insane. When are we gonna play again? <laughs> at the same time next week, unless you want to sooner. Yeah, I do. Tanya, I don't get you. <laughs> Look, I'm popular. Everyone knows this. This is, this is something about me that is ingrained in our school culture. You, however, there's a spectrum. I, I there's all there's. You're not popular. I know that. <laughs> someone like me can't be seen with someone like you. Yeah, but like nobody's watching Rob's door to see who comes out of Rob's house. I have a pedigree. I should not even be at Rob's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it did not go well. Look, Tanya, I'm gonna go grab that Seven Up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll see you next week. All right. Also, I love that you're gonna leave in ten minutes. You wait ten minutes and leave. So you're leaving at the same <laughs> time. Right. All right, guys. Uh, so give sorry. your die to somebody. Uh, I'll give it to Tanya's black heart. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So now, Elise, you can establish or uh, resolve a scene. Can you explain resolve any scene? I'm sorry. It, everyone else tells you where you are and what you're doing, and then you choose how it turns out for your character. Okay. okay. So if you resolve, we tell you how it turns out. Okay. If you establish. Got yeah, it, got it. Act one is a good, like, resolving in act two, if you're trying to get a certain number of dice, is okay. a thing you Strategic. can do, but, yeah. Okay. Um, can I establish a scene for you guys? No. You have to be, the you scene to has to center it. around yeah. you on your it. turn, yeah. yeah. Um, so you haven't had a scene with Huber yet. Huber yet. Yeah. Jack Joyce. Um, What's my real name? I already forgot. Mark Smith. Smith. Mark, Mark Smith. Smith. You should write that. Yeah. yeah. Mark <laughs> Smith. Uh, oh, I have all these secret relationships, which is hard. This one's a public relationship. This one's public. He's your fawning oh, minion. Everyone opinion. knows he hangs He's out like with you. He's like your big That's dumb right. football friend. Who yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's right. He eats lunch with you. Yeah. And tells um, you how great you are. Yeah. Because he knows your s drug secret. I guess. She's uh, a drug secret. Not necessarily. No, not necessarily. <laughs> I'm just saying things. Confusing. 
You can choose to resolve if you want us to help you make a scene. I guess I'll resolve it. Okay. Uh, what would be good? Uh, Tanya and Jack or Joyce. Actually, oh, you got an idea? Uh, Ta- uh, Tanya and Jack Joyce are shopping at the mall. Tanya's trying on clothes, and Jack is. Oh, she's sick. looking for a prom dress. And oh, Jack's that's so oh, nice. Good. That's really good. Excellent advice. Do you have a date yet? Well, that can come out. That can come out. Yeah. What do you think about this one? Beautiful. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous. Oh, you oh, look God. like a freaking goddess. This one is horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's trash. It's gutter <laughs> trash. Absolutely. <sighs> it's horrible. It's just, can you get that one down for me? Yeah, I'm there. Get, oh, careful. You're going to tear it. You're going to tear it. Okay, okay. okay. So I really want to want to take um, uh, uh, Stephanie to the prom. <laughs> Whoa. What? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Didn't see that coming. We don't even have a Stephanie at our school. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie Quimby. She knows. Oh, I see. She uh, knows. Who? Stephanie Quimby. She's gorgeous. <sighs> well, I'm gorgeous. I don't. You I are. Don't you know are who so Stephanie gorgeous. Is. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, who's going to hold my coat? I- I'll be if there. If you're gallivanting <laughs> around with a date. Uh, well, I'll be next to you and her. I'll be in the middle. Well, so no, I you won't be next to me. You'll be behind I'll me be with my coat. I'll be behind and to the right or the left. Yes. Or directly behind uh, as you. As we previously established. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about you taking a, a date, Jack. Well, I mean, it, it, you know, it was just an idea. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what about you? Are you, are you, what are you, what are you planning? Has well, anybody asked you that? I'm sure a hundred uh, guys have lined up. Yeah, uh, lots of guys actually, um, you know, murmuring. I think there are plans formulating. Uh, and I'm just going to wait and see. Uh, you know, it's, it's too early to make a decision, mm-hmm. really. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah what um, do you think of that stupid John Court kid I saw <laughs> the other day? <laughs> That guy's a fucking loser. That guy always just wants to be. Uh, it's like like dragons noticed. and gnomes, and I don't even know what he's talking about. Yeah. Who, actually, I don't even know who that person is. Yeah. I, uh, I think I'm thinking of someone else, yeah. some other loser. So weirdo. Um, how's my ass look in this it's, one? It's like a sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, white, white dog. Ends positively. That means it ends yeah, positively yeah, so you gotta, for you. I think this is the one. Done. It's a done deal. Do you have your credit card? I do, yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> your dad's credit card. Um, oh, man. <laughs> it says Mark Smith on it. <laughs> it's, it's my dad. It's my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my dad, Mark Smith. It's my, my dad. stepdad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, different oh, last name. <laughs> okay, so now Huber, uh, oh yeah, give the white dye to somebody else. Okay. Gives it to Kyle, John Court. John Court. It's my best friend. Yeah. Okay, uh, Huber, establish a resolve. I will establish. Okay. And you can do a scene with anybody. It doesn't have to be me or the person next to you, right? Although generally, you don't really have a reason that I know of yet, but you can. Invent We're all at the same school. Yeah. Okay. I'm meeting. No, I'm sorry. No. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. What was that? I need to get drugs to plant. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> in the walker. Yeah. So I'm gonna meet a drug dealer. Okay. Outside of school. Okay. You wanna be the drug dealer? Yeah, yeah, I'll okay. be the drug dealer. <laughs> but I'm going with okay. Stephanie Quimby okay. <laughs> to get the drugs. Okay, okay. Why? okay. All right, all right. Okay, okay. <laughs> why, why did you want me to meet you? This is your fucking idea. What? You want to plant the damn drugs on the kid. Uh, what? Is that what this is about? Yes! I, I didn't want to be involved. You, it was your idea. Yeah, what kind of sick fucking... world are you not involved on your own ideas? The sick world where I tell a fucking kid uh, hey, hey, to hey, go hey. get... Well, I know this guy, this guy, you know, Miko. Yeah, what's up? Miko. Uh, hi. Looking for, looking for a pound of H. Jesus Christ. Gotta go all in. Jesus Christ. Looking for a pound? Look, Jack, I know you're new to this, but we generally don't measure H in pounds. (laughs) (laughs) You're fucking this up. Are you... Turn your damn phone off, Stephanie. Sorry. Quimby. I'm sorry. What's my dog walker? Look. (laughs) Miko. 
You said you were legit. Word around the street is you can move some serious product. Do you have any idea how much a pound of H is? That like so are you saying you're small time? Or are you admitting that you're small time? A cop time? car drives by slowly. Oh shit. He waves. He sees you and waves. He goes, hey oh. Mark. <laughs> Which one is Mark? Which one is the Mark? That, that's me. So, they call me Mark sometimes because yeah. uh, I'm really gullible. And she did him a favor one time. I did a, gave him a hand job. Uh, and he goes, hey Mark, uh, see you later bro at the precinct. Yeah, see ya, thanks. Bye. Oh, fuck. Nico, you got the goods or not. Best I can get you is a sticky Q of H. A still. <laughs> This, the, the, I'm, I'm from a different time. <laughs> different I place. Said a sticky Q of H. Do you want it just, or just not? Sure, fucking, sure. Just take the fucking drugs. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my god. Okay. All right. That's gonna be eighty-five dollars. Eighty-five. You what? Pay the man. What the fuck? I don't have eighty-five dollars. This is your I idea. The, I what are you at doing? The movie theater. You said you had cash. What is going We've on? We got the cash. Just hold on. How much you have? Yo, give me that sticky, give me that back. Give Hold me that on, sticky. Hold got, on. I've got like, I've got, like, give me let me minute. check my purse. Okay. I've got like 15.75. That's right. not Here's enough. Here's $16. You don't have any money? I've got. You're a fucking, fucking 900 year old man. I've got $4. We got a problem here. This guy's well, got a just give me a, 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 a fourth of the sticky cue. Just give me a fourth. You have got to turn your phone off. I'm sorry, that's my fault. Don't, what kind of businessman are you? I'm not a businessman, I'm a fucking high school student. Yo, I'm gonna call Rubio. If you don't Rubio's have money right now. Rubio. I got it. I'm dialing Rubio Look, right now. Do you now. take credit cards? Look, Rubio, what's up? Oh, they don't shit. have the money. <laughs> Just give him the fucking H-back. Rubio, what Yo, do you do? Give me the code! What the fuck? Give me the code! What the fuck? What, what is going on here? What is happening here? Give me the sticky code! No, Rubio, just get away from me! What the fuck was that? We're taking the money. Okay, and we're fine. taking the drugs. Okay, fine. Now just go. Just walk away. I'm sorry. Just walk away. This is not cool. Rubio will find you. I'm sorry, You Nico. tell Rubio to watch his back, Nico. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so you leave. Oh what the fuck kind of cop are you? I told you. <laughs> what are you doing? You don't tell me anything. Shit done. What the fuck? We're getting it done, Stephanie. All right, <laughs> that was a disaster. Okay, uh, anything cool? Dog Rocker, get in there? Okay, uh, so you have to give the white die to somebody else. Played it well. Nico. What happened? Okay. What happened? He pulled a gun on the uh, drug dealer. We didn't have enough money. He, this he started out. freaking out. <laughs> he had $20. It escalated <laughs> as usual. <laughs> You're the worst cop. <laughs> yeah. All right, He's great. my second scene, I guess I'll do one with, with John Court, okay. and we're in the prom planning committee were the chairs. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, all right, so we're, let's say we're like in the art room okay. where we ch plan the prom committee. Sure. Uh, so I'm like doodling. <sighs> Jesus. This is like the next day after all that happened. Okay. So I'm like shook up. Hey, Stephanie. Uh, what? The prom is this Friday. Yeah. We still haven't picked a location yet. I thought we were doing it at the at the the what what's it called the the place with the the veterans the veteran hall. Isn't uh, that where we're doing it? I haven't called <laughs> them yet. I did not have a confirmation. Should I do that? Yes, you should do. Well, here's the thing. I was thinking about maybe having prom at the zoo. At the zoo. Yeah. Is there like permits or something? We have to like have permits to be around animals? It's or? gonna be very expensive and take up most of our- Yep. Huh? Has anybody seen Dusty Barnes? He died. Like hundreds of years ago. Yeah. Huh. Read uh, a book. Sorry. Jesus fucking Christ. That we was can't a... do it at the zoo. I think like Mr. Lackley is losing his mind. I think he kind of is. He taught us about Dusty Barnes last week. Yeah. And he thinks he's real. Who is this fucking It's super man? sad. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so look, it's going to be $1,500. $1,500? That's like most of our budget. That's we won't most be able to of do our budget. Difference. 2000 is our whole budget. Stephanie. We need to decorate. Can I the, be honest? The can veteran I, hall has that balcony. Can I be honest with you right now? What? The reason I want to do it at the zoo is so I can release all the animals and humiliate the popular kids. 
I thought we were going to do the blood thing. What's the blood thing? The carry thing. We were going to dump blood on the... That, You're right. That's played out, though. That's played out? And it only gonna, affects I, one popular kid? I was going to plant drugs. What? On, on Mike Tabuno. Mike Tabuno walks over. What the fuck? You fucking nerds! What? Hi, Mike. This prom better be fucking good, or you're gonna get your skulls bashed in. Hey, Mike. God damn it. We were thinking about having it at the zoo. Do you think that'd be cool? Uh, yeah, what, are we Mike. gonna put you in a cage there? Monkey? Huh, monkey? You could do that. Huh, monkey? What is your deal? Cheat for me, monkey. What is your deal? Cheat for me, monkey. Come on, we don't- Cheap? This prom better be fucking good. Mike Tabuno, out. God, that guy's such a jerk. He is really cool, though. What? Just because he hangs out with Tanya, you think he's cool. I don't know. He like, hangs out with Tanya and Jack and, and that Susan girl that's kind of cute but kind of a bitch. Yeah, also, like, Tanya's pretty cool, too. Tanya's, Tanya's kind of a bitch, too. So anyway, I was thinking of, like, we have the problem with the zoo, okay? We, okay. We, first we warn Tanya, but then we open Why up Why do we warn Tanya? She's the most popular kid. I just... If I, we're sticking it to the man, we gotta stick it to the man. I just, like, I kind of think Tanya's pretty cool. What, are you in love with Tanya now? No, uh, no, she's, like, strictly a friend. Look, man, if we're sticking it to him, we gotta stick it to all of them. We can't just let Tanya off the hook because you're fucking in love with her. It's never gonna happen. She would never talk to someone like you. She would never look at someone like me, and she would never talk to someone like you, okay? Just get it through your head. I like you, John, but you're not uh, the most popular kid in school. I know, why does he ever, I know I'm not popular. Yeah, I know I get you that. know. I'm just pointing it out. I know you know. At least you started fucking showering this year. That's an improvement. <laughs> But Tanya's never gonna fucking be with you, okay? She'll never be with any of us because they just think that they're fucking sanctimonious b better than all of us. You know what? <clears throat> yeah. I can't wait to watch a python wrap itself around <laughs> Tanya and strangle her. I'm in. That's what I'm talking about. Mike Tabuno just tears a book across the library. <laughs> he goes, Mike Tabuno! He's so cool, that guy's so cool. That costs like $80. He's so cool though. God damn. Books suck. Okay. Tabuno. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give this to humor for that weird ass teacher <laughs> that we made into a psychopath. Actually, what's Mike Tabuno? Mr. Tabuno was Mr. Linkler? What was it? Lankler? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Linklater. What? The teacher, the what crazy teacher? teacher, the guy that came in and asked about the Dusty Barnes has been dead oh, oh, yeah. 200 years, 150 The man years. who brought down a town. <laughs> uh, I love that this is canon to our other race. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now it's your turn. Establish your resolve. Okay. John Court. Uh, I will establish... Actually, I gotta give this to Mike Tabuno. Do it. I'm sorry. T Tabuno. Oh yeah, Tabuno out. Tabuno is hilarious. Rips up <laughs> okay. Uh, he hates learning. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, Tanya Slater's home. Uh, she has a room on the first floor, and John Court is rapping on the windowsill. This is at Tanya's house. Mm -hmm. Nighttime. Nighttime. Okay. And you're knocking on her bedroom window. Yep. Okay. What are you doing out there? Um, hey, Tanya, it's me, open up. Get in here before anyone sees you. Okay. Today is okay. not your day to mow the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's it's also nighttime. You you really don't think much of me. I don't know when people mow lawns. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Tanya, we'll get like to what I came here for, but like obviously people mow the lawn during the day. Uh, hearsay. It's night. I that makes complete total sense. Why are you here? Listen, I kind of made plans to have prom in a zoo. That's not all. <laughs> <laughs> Part of those plans is to release all the animals and have them embarrass and humiliate the popular kids. <laughs> I want in. Let's get these popular kids. No, Tanya, the, th the reason I brought this up is like you... you no. Tanya! Tanya! Who are you talking to? Nobody, Daddy! Go to sleep! You're gonna make him mad. The doorbell rings. <laughs> <laughs> and Jack Joyce is <laughs> at the door. What the fuck? Hey, should, should I go? Hello? 
Yeah, I'm uh, here to see Tanya. It's fucking 9.30 at night. Tanya, your dumbass friend is here. Uh, sorry, Mr. Slater. Get the fuck out. Whoa. <laughs> It's fucking nighttime. Sh- I need to see Daddy, her. it's okay. We need homework. to see her for what is homework? It was Who is this guy? Get in the closet. Okay. Get in the closet. Okay, good. Okay. He's here to bring me uh, uh, extra. Um, it sounds like you're lying to me, Tanya. He's here to bring me her extra homework. awards I won at school for all my smart stuff. What is it, homework or awards? Both, both. Uh, like, both. I got the awards for how great my homework was, so he's returning the homework, bringing the awards. What the hell kind of school is a hippie It's a school bullshit. for the gift, gifted daddy. Oh, you guys are harsh okay. my buzz. Well, we better go up to my computer. Your so. stepmom's gonna be home in 15 minutes. Are, are you watching Family Feud? You better be asleep! Mr. Mr. Slater. What? You watching Family Feud? I think I've seen that episode. You get the fuck out. Go, go just do your thing, get out of here. Door open, Missy! Come on, Jack, yeah, I know daddy. <sighs> Jack, what are you doing here? I just, I just, Needed to see you. You know that you're not allowed to see me at my home. I. When did you ever say that? It's established in the rules, the terms of agreement. Oh. All right. Well, I've just been been thinking about prom a lot. You know, I really. Me uh, too, and I need your help. Okay. I know this might seem surprising, but I don't. I don't have a date because someone specific hasn't asked me yet. Oh. Who, who's specific? Well, I thought that you might be the person to talk to about this. What, what are you, what, what are you? Hey, um. What Jack, the hell? You know, maybe you should get out of here, dude. You should probably Jimmy? go. Jimmy? You should probably. My Jimmy, what are you doing no, here? No, my name is John Court. Uh, John? Yeah, but you should probably, sir, you should leave. Jack? I can explain. Tanya, what in the hell is going on here? Yeah, you know what? Maybe you should know. We kind of have an established relationship, so you should probably get out of here, man. This Tanya, man what? is breaking and entering into my bedroom. You're breaking and what entering? What the hell's going on? Mr. Slater, we got an intruder up no, here. What? what? No, we don't. Yeah. No, we don't. What the fuck? This guy is so Who the fuck are you trying to get weird. in my daughter's I'm bedroom trying. and trying to do on that? He's hiding in a closet. Oh, oh my god! No. Oh, actually, I'm gonna call the police! Daddy, wait! What? Wait, don't wait, call the is, police. I, Why? I our, uh, I, no. I got confused. This is our gardener. He must have been doing some I'm not night your gar- I'm obviously gardener. not a gardener. Jimmy, you're a gardener. Hello, I'm home! Oh god damn it, Susan is home! What's the- Hello? My wicked step monster! <laughs> Susan, we're all in the goddamn bedroom. She got a fucking conference going on in here. What is this? What's happening in here? What are y'all doing? Well, I think these young men are running a train on Tanya. Oh, please, sir, sir nothing's that obscene. I well, then what the fuck are you doing in my daughter's do. bedroom? Tanya, is something wrong? She is 17 years old. Oh she is not God. allowed to have boys in her room past 9 p.m. Jack, you need to go out the window. You need to get Mike Tabuno to ask me to the prom. You're my only hope. Okay. Who the <laughs> fuck is Mike Tabuno? Uh, it is, uh, 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 uh Jimmy. This guy Actually, my name is, is a, a, a stalker. John Cor- stalker, Mr. Slater. Slater but I'm calling the police. No, no, I will see no, myself no, out. No police. Yes. Call the no police. police. Please call the police. No police. This is weird. This no. is wrong. It's good to see you. How was your day? Uh, you? It was stressful. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go. Yeah. <laughs> Tanya, I'll see you at school. I'll, I'll handle it. Get up! Okay, we're going. You are in a lot of trouble, young man, lady. <laughs> Listen, I'm kind of drunk. No, no, no. It's Tanya. I've she had, had two boys in her bedroom. I've had nights like these. I've oh, been here. God, I've known nights like these. Susan, Stop we don't need to hear about your whoring days. I'll just say you, that was college. You get a couple, okay? We'll give you one or two. Oh my God. Stop trying to relate Let's to go me. Go watch Family Feud. Oh Fuck this. God. Fuck this family. Jimmy. Fuck this life. Jimmy, what the hell were you doing in Tanya's house? I was talking, okay? Like, maybe she has other friends Who's than you. Seen no, <laughs> she doesn't. I know her friends. I know her better than you'll ever know her! <laughs> God, man. Okay, probably. All right, then just get the hell out of here, Jimmy. Nobody wants you around anymore. My name is John. It's fine. A cop car drives by. <laughs> hey, Mark! How's it going, man? I drove into a nice bush. <laughs> what was. Are you okay? <laughs> I dropped my keys. Hey, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna go home, okay? No one cares, Jimmy. <sighs> this is John <laughs> Court. <laughs> 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 Your poor life! Okay, so give that to oh. somebody. All right, uh, oh, Jack sorry. Joyce. <laughs> For walking into that scene. <laughs> Fucking Chaos. Insanity. Okay, uh, now you get to establish a resolve, right? That was your scene? What were you yeah. doing at my house? Yeah, that was I, mean, <laughs> I just need to be around you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He just he was was fawning. Fawning. He's in love with you. He was fawning, yeah. He's a 29 year old man, he's in love with you. <laughs> okay, you, you can establish a resolve. For m- yourself. Myself. Last scene of Act 1. What are my house? Um, I'm, I'm, one, I'm pissed off because I'm wondering where the hell Jack is. And then I find him, uh, I find him behind the bleachers whispering with Stephanie. Okay. Oh, this is wow. the next day after school? Yeah. Or? Okay, so this is Tuesday night now. Okay. Prom is on Friday. Prom's on Friday. Okay. Well, I think we should plan them. Well, I don't even know tonight. if we need Jack. I don't think we need yeah. the drugs anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Jack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> what do you mean? I've been here. <laughs> My been dress was supposed to have been picked up from the seamstress 30 minutes ago. Hi, Tony. I um, <laughs> was. Going, my my car broke down, Who and is this? Stephanie. This is Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. She had a <laughs> spare alternator in her car that we were going to put in. I don't know how many times I have to say this. There are no Stephanies that go to this school. <laughs> <laughs> I, my name's Stephanie, actually. Hi, Tanya. This is uh, Stephanie you look, Quimby. You look really pretty. She you? has been in your class for six years. A couple of years, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're. You're planning prom, aren't you? I'm one, yeah, ch- co-chair with, with uh, John John Court, yeah. Oh, hi, Stephanie. Hi. How oh. Are you? I guess you guys haven't done any ballot preparation for prom king and queen yet, have you? Well, we have we have the ballots. Oh, you, hi. You're you're on you're on it. Am I? Oh, yeah, don't worry. Oh of course my she is. Gosh. Yeah, of course she is. Thanks, yeah. thanks, of course Jack. You are, Tony. Oh. Uh, I, I, Jack, uh, it, it would would Mike Tabuno happen to be? He's on it too. On it too? Oh, that's weird. So like, so like, are there a lot of people trying to be prom king or like, five, like five, five, five guys and five girls? <laughs> that seems like a lot of work for you guys to go through all those nominees. Yeah, I mean, well, the school picked them last last week. They put all the names in the hats, and then the, those are the nominees. Uh, I mean, we we already know who won. Two. Really? Yeah, we just need the five people to go up and walk. So they're not really nominees, they're like already picked. It seems like having five nominees is a lot of extra work for you. Well, yeah, not. it seems like having five nominees is a lot of extra work for you. Well, they're not, they're not nominees, they're, are, they're just the, the, the court, the prom court. Uh, um. Maybe it would be easier for you, Stephanie. Yes, yeah, Stephanie. You had fewer nominees. Fewer nominees, Stephanie. Uh, 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 but, but I mean, I, I already won. I already know who won. You, you don't need to worry, uh, Tanya. You don't, you don't need to worry about it. I already know. That's because you're so great, Stephanie. Yeah. See, I told you, she's great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. And <clears throat> if you aren't great, maybe Jack will show you his gun. Jack. Whoa, she, knows what? She, knows what? she knows about your gun? You have a gun? Oh, oh no, a gun! Why yeah. do you have that in school? Fewer nominees. It's a Halloween costume. Fewer nominees? It's fine, she already won! Fewer. She's already the prom nominees. queen! You're the prom You're the prom queen if you want to be. Is that what you wanted to be? Well, it depends on who the prom king is, I guess. It's, it's Mike Tabuna. Oh. He's your date anyway, right? He will be. Yeah, he will be. Did, did someone say that he wasn't going yeah, to be? Yeah, did somebody say he wasn't going to be? He's not already? I haven't heard anything about it. I think he might be gay. Jack, my dress. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm going right now. Thanks for the alternator, uh, Stephanie. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thanks, Suzette. <coughs> You're welcome, Tanya. <laughs> 
What the fuck? Uh, that was yeah. good. I like. So you gave her a white. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So you have to give that to somebody. Oh my gosh. She's gay. Uh, yeah. Hey. All right. I got one. Wait to. I was gay. <laughs> all right. Establish your resolve. Last scene of Act One. <coughs> Make it a zinger. I thought this was the last scene of Act One. No, because oh, I started. Right, right. Yep. Yep. I am meeting the chief of police. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. 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 And I am with. John Court. <laughs> oh, Why? because the two parents filed. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I called the police mm -hmm. on John Court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're at. Where are you? We're at the police? in the police office. So yeah. As teenage Jack Joyce. So because because yeah. you both were caught yeah, in yeah. the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you want to be the chief of police? I can okay. Okay. Boys, I think you both know why you're here today. Oh, uh, yes, yes, I do, Chief Irons. No, the, the big misunderstanding. It was not a big misunderstanding. They were sneaking around my daughter's bedroom. Mr. Slayer. At 10 at night. Just to be clear here, again, the order of events. <clears throat> I knock on Tanya's door. She looks charmed. She lets me in. We talk for a little while. You knock on her door? Uh, sorry, window. Oh, Thank you for making lies. Me He's already too. lying. A web of lies. That's breaking and entering, son. You go through a window into a property. No, sh uh, just to be clear again. I'll go through the steps again. Rap on the window. She looks charmed. She opens the window. She looks charmed or shocked? The expression was charmed. Excuse me. Well, you Jack are... Joyce, oh. is it? Yes, it is. Chief Irons. <laughs> I'll have to ask that you please wait your turn. Okay. Yeah. Go on, son. She looks very charmed. She opens the window. She says, please come in. Be quick. I come in. God. We have a semi-romantic uh, talk. Hey, slut daughter. Has this, has this young man been dating your daughter? Oh, God. He better not. Look at his fucking... God, look at his fucking acne. Did, did Tanya foresee this as a romantic conversation? Uh, I believe so. Uh, well, she's out in the fucking car. You want me to go grab her? Please, like, don't. Yes. Please don't. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll, I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, so basically, it's like a big, like, teenage misunderstanding. Uh, she's got all of her friends, but, like, I'm probably, like, her best friend because, like, all of her other friends are, like, she doesn't really like them, but, like, when she's and really herself, listen, when she is herself, when she is playing DDD, I, D and D, <laughs> I see the true Tanya. I see the. All uh, right, here she is. There's Tanya. What's, what's D and D? Tanya, what's this D and D I hear you're so interested in? What? Tanya, just tell them. Help me. Tanya, Tell them. this kid saying that you are lovers in the night. I didn't say we're lovers, are you? Tanya. You're a romantic. Can you play D&D without me, Tanya? <laughs> what the even, hell is D&D? &D? I don't even know what Dungeons and Dragons is. Uh, you, you didn't invite me? You and Tanya. Jimmy this whole time okay. have been playing D&D behind my what, back? What, 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 what is D&D? Is this drugs? No, is this drugs? Is this a sex thing? It's I Dungeons thought and Dragons. We were Dungeons and Dragons. Tanya. That game? Jack. Yeah. From the 70s? It seems uh, a little strange that you would be so interested in this D&D with 17-year-old minors. Yeah, you trying to bang my daughter, Jack? Uh, you look like you're about 35! <laughs> Anya loves it! Tanya loves it when you bang my daughter! Yeah, she you loves D&D. You do D &D. not bang. Is this code? I don't even know what D&D is. What's happening is? right now? Tanya. Is this code or are we Tanya. actually talking about that nerd game? Fine. I play D&D &D sometimes <gasps> because I felt sorry for them. Yeah, yeah, she felt sorry. For, for who, the Jimmy. dragons? For Jimmy, we she We need to complete sorry. 30 hours of community Jimmy? service at work. Okay. So I, at school. Well, you should have so just I told me, it. Tanya, but I know you feel sorry for him because you're, you're such a good person. You know what, Mr. Irons? You can just go ahead and lock me up. Oh, calm down, son. <laughs> <laughs> and then Stephanie comes in, hey, mom to the chief of police. Oh, hey, sweetie. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? How's oh, my- Oh, hey, hey, John, hey, Jack. Jack? Stephanie, hey, hey, wait, Tanya. you are, and he is. 
What? <laughs> He's <just> doing classic. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, your dad is Mr. Irons, chief That's of police. That's my mom, though. But yeah. Your mom is Mr. She's, she's pretty she's masculine. Okay. All right. I was playing man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, this is my my daughter, my partner, Joy. Do you know? Do you fellows know Stephanie? She's, right. She's one of those popular kids in school, so I can only assume that you oh, do. Oh, uh, absolutely. I know. Absolutely. John and I are planning the prom together. Anyway, oh, really? sorry. I was just meeting you here for lunch. I'll get out of the way. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Stephanie. I'll stay the hell away from my daughter. Okay. Fine. Stephanie. What was that? We, we, we don't have to do the drugs thing anymore. I'll see you later. We don't have to do the drugs thing anymore. We're doing the animals thing. Uh, God damn it. Uh, okay, bye. Bye. Son. <laughs> son. This is your uh, seat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't go prowling around people's houses yeah, in, in, I, in the dark, I okay? I won't anymore. Look, and, and this girl, she she did, she, she, she was just doing their community service or, or hanging out with the weird kids or I whatever. demand these boys be disciplined. They, they will, Mr. Slater. But just uh, Mr. Slater, what? Who just, won the Family Feud? God, I don't know. It was reruns. Uh, just don't. don't you you uh. ha go go off go off home play with your play with your dolls or whatever you do. But don't don't harass them. Sounds like you're letting these boys off easy. Chief Irons, I'll see you later, Jimmy. You, Jack Joyce, you hang hang on for a moment here. All right. I'd like to have actually. I, I'd like to have more of a, of a word with Jack Joyce, Mr. Okay. Slater, and you will see that I will bring justice. All right, well, you better. Situation. Come on, Tanya, let's get out of here. All right. Bye, Tanya. Place smells like Fuck piss. Off. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it, Chief? It's a fucking nightmare in there. Smith, what the hell is going on at it's that a, goddamn high school? It's a fucking nightmare. Right? You're a nightmare. You got You're fucking out of control. Kids running around. You're out of line. You got kids Good. running around with drugs. You got <laughs> drugs. What's going on in here? Yeah. What's going on in here? Whoa! <laughs> Who are you? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Who are you? I am chief of police. I didn't recognize you with your undercover disguise, sir. <laughs> I thought he, he was chief of police. We're chief of police partners. Come chief. When do we get mean? another chief? Smith, <laughs> you're off the case. What? You're off the case. We're just going to have to hide. No, you no, can't slow take down, bad cop. Me. You will not. You're off the case. case. You're off the case. Slow down, bad cop. No. Maybe we give him one more chance. No, we don't. <laughs> we do not do that. Right. Fine. Here's my fucking badge. And here's my fucking gun. I've had it with you. You had it with us. I've had it with you. I'm still gonna break this case, even if I'm off If you duty. go one foot near that high school... Yeah, we'll see. You go one foot near that high school, you will be prosecuted. <laughs> Do you understand? Full extent You will get fucked. Law. You will get fucked. Do you understand? Yeah, we'll see about that. Alright. <laughs> you don't stay with the chief of police! Coke cops! Coke cops! Alright, so give the black guy to somebody. Oh god. <laughs> the co chief over here. Oh god. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Take some mess off. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> okay, so right. I lost my gun. Right. Yeah, well, you might have a gun. <coughs> Maybe that was yeah. your yeah, yeah, service yeah. gun and yeah. you still have the snub nose. Snub nose, snub nose oh. is not like. Yeah. yeah, not an official cop gun. You're right. a dirty cop. Yeah. Alright, so everybody roll the dice in front of you. This is the tilt. I got three a three and a one. I okay. got two threes. So subtract the, so you got a zero. You subtract the higher number, uh, or right, the right, lower right. number from the higher number. So, so I got a three. I got a two. Three what? Three white? Three white. I got a three white. Two white. You got a two white. Okay. Okay, tilt so table. that means he and I tied, so we'll roll for the tilt. Um, oh, I think no. that's how it goes. Tragedy. Um, so we roll these dice. Okay, so we've got a one, uh, two threes, two fours, three threes, two ones, and a two. Okay. Uh, so you want to pick the category of the tilt? Oh, sure. Um, or you don't have to. You can pick the other. Tra absolutely tragedy. Okay, so that's a two. Is that for your specific It's character? for all of us. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. So in act two, the tilt is here to, like, mess with stuff. 
Okay. So we want to like, we want to just like throw a wrench in everything. Okay. So uh, in in tragedy, we've got ones, threes, and fours. So we could do death out of the blue, pain <laughs> followed by confusion. Nice. Or death right on time. Whoa. Right on time. <laughs> yeah. We're on killing people. I mean, problems at the zoo. Anything can happen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So right, right, on right on time. <laughs> <laughs> death. <laughs> Zoo. <laughs> right? Zoo um, conspiracy. Sorry. Time. Okay, so what the, what the tilt is, is all of us, um, all of us want to use the tilt and like, you can use that in any of your scenes, you know? Just ha let it inform you. Let it inform your decisions. Okay, act two. We've got uh, 30 minutes left on the... The thing, if we do crazy fast scenes, we could probably okay. get to a crazy fast scenes. Here we go. Let's okay. do it. Okay. Uh, I go first, I guess, because I went first last time. Uh, okay. Let me think. Uh, Stephanie is, let's just go for broke. Let's say it's the day of prom, mm -hmm. and we're at the zoo, <laughs> and John and I are, 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 are laying in our plans and our machinations, and it's an hour before the prom starts. Okay. Right? Yeah. And uh, I assume neither of us has a date, but uh, yeah. What was the girl? I, th I think I named two people Susan. Anyway, okay. Wait, sorry, dude. Can you repeat that? I we're at we're at the, the we're at the zoo setting Set up the prom. prom. Okay. Uh, I imagine in some kind of like hall or like a courtyard. Okay, we're in the courtyard. We're, we're, we're in yeah, the zoo yeah. courtyard, surrounded by cages of various animals, okay. tigers. Monkeys, lions. snakes, lions, okay. birds, mm -hmm. lizards, of an the elephant. Various, and an elephant. All of which <laughs> butt up onto this amazing courtyard <laughs> with doors, cage doors. Yep. Uh, and I walk up and I say, okay, I stole the keys from the zookeeper. Uh, it was not pleasant, but I got them. What are you, what are you implying? I had to hit him on the head with a fire extinguisher. Oh my god. All right. I think he's okay. Don't worry. Okay. This is your fucking plan. This so better work. I was talking to my, one of Rob's friends. Who's Rob? Oh, Rob is a really cool guy. He's like my brother, uh, kind of. He's like a half-brother. Uh, Whatever. Just What's happening? So, we talked to Curtis. Curtis is an electrical engineer. Who's he Curtis? He's Rob's one of friend? Rob's friends. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Listen, I play D&D &D with these guys. They're cool. What's D&D? &D? Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, right, okay. The best tabletop game yeah, I've yeah, ever yeah, played yeah. in my life. Okay, so <laughs> with these contraptions, I can flip this button right here. It will open all the doors simultaneously. Oh my god. And That's incredible. we will wreak havoc amongst the popular kind. Yeah. Uh, wait, here's the, here's the, I never thought of this. Huh. Isn't everyone else going to be in the crossfire too? Many others. I have created a warning list. All of the people on the warning list will be warned to evacuate the zoo. These are people amongst our kind. People in clubs. People who aren't in clubs. Any non-popular person is on the warning list. Jesus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what if the... What? Well, won't the popular kids notice everyone leaving? Stephanie. The what? There is no turning back after tonight. Are you getting me involved in some kind of like school killing everybody thing? Because I don't want to kill anybody. No, they're just, the animals are going to humiliate them. There's, how are they going to humiliate them? They're tigers. You have a, I see that device on a tiger cage. Here are the keys, by the way. Oh, thank you. Okay. Why did I just give you the keys? The principal uh, walks by. Hey guys, prom looks great. You guys thanks, did a great job. Thanks, thank principal you, Myers. Ms. Myers. Uh, the principal yeah. assistant walks by. Glares at him. How about all these? Them. How about all these animals? Huh? This could. Oh, this is a little scary. Oh, yeah. do not be concerned. You may notice on each of the locks we have added an extra lock that will keep it super safe. <sighs> you kids think of everything. Super safe. <laughs> Sometimes John, John had a lot to do with those extra locks. Oh yeah. They, they, yep. they are. They should be really safe. I hope everyone's very safe. But then I'll know who to send the credit to after tonight. Yes, you <laughs> will. Have fun, kids. Thanks. Thank you very much. Oh my God. Don't worry. They're on the warning list. And the faculty's on the warning list. Yep. Who's doing this warning? They're gonna know that you were involved. I'll email it to you later. 
Here's don't email I'll, me anything. Here's what I'll do for you. Don't Stephanie. email me anything. I won't let the tiger loose, okay? <laughs> okay. Monkeys are very humiliating. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna let them loose for sure. What about the gorillas? Your call. I think they seem pretty violent. Okay, no gorillas, fine. All right. I do think it'd be funny if like a gorilla like sat on one of the popular kids though. Well, that could be fun. Okay. All right, all right. No tigers, fine. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> whatever. The stage John's, is <laughs> John's turn. Okay, uh, John Court is talking to Tanya Slater. Uh, he snuck away, and he's talking to her on the phone. Uh, she's, I assume, getting ready for prom. Okay. So he's, he's in a, he's like behind uh, the uh, iguana uh, den <laughs> on the phone. John, how did you get this number? Uh, I think I got this number uh, from Rob. Uh, he uses this to like let you know if we have any changes plan. Tanya, not important. Listen, we're going through with it. With what? The big humiliating time at the zoo. <laughs> you mean against the popular kids? Yeah, listen, Tanya, it wasn't my call, but you're one of the popular kids. <laughs> you're not on the warning list. What? This is your. This is you being on the warning list right now. What are you trying to say? What? It, what should I? No time to explain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. I ended it. Oh, okay, Tanya, there is time to explain. Uh, what I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No. Here's what you're gonna do. Oh. You're gonna call off your shitty juvenile little animal prank. What? Okay, you know what, Tanya? I've had enough of you. <laughs> every, every week, I had the best time in the world playing D&D with you, and you treated me like a barrel of monkey piss. And I've had <laughs> enough of it. So tonight, guess what's gonna be all over you? A barrel of a crown, monkey piss. A, crown, a, a barrel crown. of monkey piss. Good night. Good. Oh, Tanya calls John back. <laughs> Is this your scene? Hello? John, do you not think that... Do you think I don't have fun at those D&D meetings? That's like the highlight of my week, the place I can really be myself and open up and A have week ago, friends. Tanya, I would love to have this conversation, but I am a different man now. You know what, John? That's fine. But I hope that whatever different man you are, you can look in, your, in the mirror at yourself after tonight and be happy with the person you see staring back. I'm gonna look in the mirror and see a freaking genius for making everyone in the school look like a total idiot. You know what, John? I may have bullied you for 15 years, but you're not gonna bully me tonight. You can unleash those animals, and I'm gonna kick a fucking gorilla in the fucking face. I dare you to! Goodbye! Jesus. Ty calls John back. <laughs> Hello? Goodbye! Oh! <laughs> no, 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 uh-uh. John calls Tanya back. <laughs> Hello? Goodbye. What? <laughs> okay. That's nice, because you failed. That's good. Okay, establish All a resolve. Right. We are at the prom. Who, all of us? Okay, prom, I it's begun. I am with Stephanie. You're holding my- My date? Who's my holding date? my coat? Oh, I'm wow. your date? You're my date. It Thanks for out. asking. No one ever asked me. I am playing two people in this. Okay. I'm also Mike Tribuno, your date. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and we're all there, all four of us. I can't believe you made me be your date. This oh, is really shut weird. Up. You like Jack it? Lipstick. Jack lipstick. Don't like Jack it. lipstick. This is really weird. But at least I'm close to Tanya. Hi, yeah. Tanya. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. I, I guess our plan didn't work out. What plan? I told you we don't need the. Right? What you want the heroin, Tanya? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just woke up and was in my locker. Excuse me, what's going on? <laughs> Mike, what's go are you okay? 
I think he's fine. He's fine. He's, fine. he's, fine. he's just having fun and enjoying prom. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Clear your jets. Cool. Okay. Check also, his, check his Are breath. He hasn't been drinking at all, all right? I have a second question. Enough? Has anyone seen Rusty Barnes? He, t- no. he died hundreds of years ago. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Was uh, he the Larkin? one who destroyed that town? No, that was the other guy. Mr. Larkin, he's been dead for hundreds of years. Okay. Right. Well, but it's, a, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. All right, but no one pulls a fast one on me. Mike, if you're doing drugs, I'm gonna have to pull you aside. <laughs> you <laughs> are! No! He's Mr. Larkin! He's Mr. Larkin! He's Mr. Larkin! Mr. Larkin! Mr. Larkin. I'm Mr. taking Larkin. him away. Rum. I'm taking it's him prom. away. It's hey. Exactly. It's prom! <laughs> Rusty Barnes! Is that way? Yeah! Oh, I gotta go! I gotta go! Yeah. Good one, babe! Good one, babe! Oh my god, we're all going to jail. Come on, babe, can I have some heroin? Yeah. Oh my I god, love heroin. Heroin. Yeah, you know, it's so cool. You're the best. Drugs. It is cool. It, it's so cool. Well, Mike, uh, if Mike it's said so it's cool. cool. If Tanya says it's cool, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, if Mike Jack. says it's cool, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it for okay. you, babe. What the hell are you doing? All right, you. let's do you it. Do heroin, you're gonna do some cop. heroin. I'm off duty. What the fuck? <laughs> are you are, are, are you go first, Tanya? Maybe we should do it after the award ceremony. Yeah, it'll be really yeah. special. Okay, okay. All right. You're all insane. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of... You, you have to fail. <laughs> okay. Jack Joyce has to fail. Well, Tanya, it's time that I make my own decisions. Give me that heroin. What are you Jack? doing? Mark, don't... No, you're going to do heroin at the fucking Jack prom? What are you doing? Excuse me, Mark Smith. <laughs> You're under arrest. You are not meant to be next to any of these children. It's the police. What? He's a cop. What? No, I'm not. He's like 50 years old. He's a cop. This, this is a prop. This is nothing. You're still not allowed to be here. What are you talking about? Children, this is an undercover cop. His what? name is Mark Smith. I torrented all those movies for you. Oh my God, you're a cop? He was no. taken off the case. Yesterday, he was not meant to be next to any of these children, and he chose to still deceive you. Co-chief of police! He's got a gun! <laughs> oh my god, they shot Mark! Jack! They shot Mark! No, that was Jack! Mike Tribune! Mark, Mike Tribune, that's what I meant! They shot Mike Tribune! Holy shit! Oh my All god! Right, everyone just Mike. relax! I'm going to press the button! Ferguson! 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 The animal gates open up! Oh my god! <laughs> I think that's the end of Jack's scene, maybe? <laughs> oh my god, a kid just got shot by a cop! <laughs> a cop chief of police! Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. alright. Oh, right, so the police is really good at disguises. <laughs> okay, so it's my scene now. Directly <laughs> after all of that, mm-hmm. I'm covered in Mike Tribuno's blood. <laughs> yep. Uh, and I go, uh... I'm like, oh, oh my god! All the animals, everyone, uh, everyone is not popular. Uh, what? Uh, everyone John? who's not popular is gone. They're gone already. Yeah, yeah, they're all gone. Okay. They got the way wrong. I got blood list. in my eyes. <laughs> the fucking cops just. Sh- the, did you see that? They killed Mike Tribuno. Oh really? Like I was kind of a dick, but Jesus Christ. Oh, a parrot. Oh God, get uh, off of me. Get off. You me. two <laughs> are the lowest low lives ever. I what? just had to punch a gorilla in the face. I had nothing to do with this. John set these animals loose. This guy's a cop. I'm in the background wrestling with the chief of police. The chief of police is here? <laughs> the guy <laughs> just shot Mike. The co-chief of police. Oh, that was both the guy. Both of them are okay. there. Uh, I shot Mike. I'm wrestling with them. I'm going to get you. 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 Tanya, uh, if none of us make it through this, I just wanted you to know how pretty I think you are. Um, and I've always thought you were- ah! <laughs> Monkeys! You ah! Fucking even, monkeys! You don't uh, even know me, Stephanie. You're, that's, well, we've been in class together for six years. Um, and I've always just thought that, I, I know you're really popular and everything, um, um, but I just, I, I just always thought you were so nice and, and you're so, Beautiful. Tommy. Stephanie, I hear that. I thought you were my date. You forced uh, me to be your date, uh, you uh, fucking weirdo. Really nice music is playing. He's like 37. I know, he forced me to be his date. 36, he god gun. damn it. He put a gun in my face. Hey, chiefs of police, he put a fucking gun. Mom, he put a fucking gun 
in my face earlier. Oh, dad. She's the chief of dad, police. Chief police. Oh, Why is a trans police. woman? Oh, irons. Honey, yeah, I'm trying to wrestle man. somebody right now. I'm trying to wrestle Jack. <laughs> uh, Mike, Mark. Well, either way, he's a fucker. I'll punch him for you, sweetie. A rhino. Hey. Gorgeous! The chief of police! Oh, the other one! Which oh, one? The co-chief? Oh, the two horns! Two horns, yeah! Da! Da! It's coming! It's coming! This this chief of police is my dad, <laughs> and that was my mom. It's okay. true! Both of my parents! It's true. There is no justice. Stop it! We love you! Just I love you too! I want you to know one thing. If you love someone, you take that person! And you never stop loving. Bah. Oh my God, <laughs> my parents are dead. Um, and also, Jack Joyce is a dick. But Tanya, Tanya, I love you, Tanya. I'm sorry. I love you, Tanya. I thought we were friends. I can't Stephanie, believe. Stephanie, I love you. I thought you were my date. You forced me to be your fucking date, you creep. <gasps> oh my God. No! Do it. Don't do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Don't do it. I let you wash my hair, you sick son of a you bitch. You got to wash your hair? I love Was it nice? Both. <laughs> oh my god! His blood goes all over me. Ah! I'm never gonna be able to return this dress. It's a rental. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Tanya, I've always loved you. Um, everything's fucked up. I don't know. John let all these fucking animals out. I just, I've always had a crush on you. Um, you don't have to, I just wanted you to know. Okay, I'll see you. You know, Stephanie. What? Before tonight, I kind of just thought that I was beautiful, perfect, popular person willing to shoot fine china into their veins. <laughs> but now. You're not wrong. I know that I'm an, an avid tabletop RP player and I kind of am sexually confused at the moment. Do you wanna maybe come shower all this blood off of us together at my place? I My parents won't be there. I guess we could. <laughs> but just as friends. Okay. But if you want, maybe you could come play D&D with us sometime with me and my best friend John. You guys know each other? Yeah. He's my best friend. Forever. I'm a ghost watching all of this. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and, the scene, and, the scene. and then we go shower together? Absolutely. Or something? Um, okay. okay. So we've got three scenes to go, mm -hmm. and they've all got to be <laughs> So, uh. Except the last one, I guess. Uh, this is actually the next day. Okay. Uh, John Court is. Uh, being interviewed, uh, he's he's clearly he's he's in prison. Okay, for letting out all the animals and killing several people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll interview you. Okay. This is in jail. Yeah. Mr. Court, were you aware? So actually, you're my lawyer. <clears throat> you're my lawyer. Okay, okay, okay. Mr. Court, give me the details. <laughs> this all happened because of Rob's friend. He's the one who's an electrical engineer. Okay, we can use that. He manipulated you. He, he, no. It's science. Okay, I have to take responsibility for No, you don't. Do you want to win this case, or do you want to be locked up the rest of your life? I want to be locked up. Turns out, I don't like anyone. Listen, you're not going to destroy my stats <laughs> as a lawyer. I'm We're sorry. not losing Your stats. Any. Yeah, <laughs> you say my stats. I have a ninety-four percent win rate. You're not gonna fucking plead guilty. You'll lower my stats. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's why my dad hired you. <laughs> yeah, he's paying the bills. I work for him. Now you just shut up and tell me that your friend manipulated you. Tanya? The other one, Rob. Oh, Rob's my brother. <laughs> your brother <gasps> manipulated you. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Into doing this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was jealous 
that you <laughs> were a popular kid. Okay. At school. All right. <laughs> Whatever you say, and sir. And he sought vengeance through you. Okay. His divine weapon. Divine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and scene. All right, all right. And scene. Uh, you establish a resolve. Uh, two I'll resolve. Yeah, he, she gets a scene, and you get a okay, scene. Okay, so we we establish a scene for her. Okay. Uh, it's the day after, and um, <clears throat> hmm. it could be the day after, and you're leaving my house. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you slept over. And someone does see you across the street. Your fears yeah. came true. Someone saw you leave a house. Is yeah. that Tanya with John? No, my house. Oh. John's in jail. <laughs> Is that Tanya with Stephanie? Bye, Tanya. Bye, Stephanie. Thanks for, um, well, it was... No, I think that's John and, and Stephanie together. Or, or Stephanie and Tony together. Who's that across the street? Is that... It's me, Skids, and that's my best pal, Popo. Oh, no. shit, it's those idiots, Skids and Popo. Hey, let's go tell everyone we saw Tony and Stephanie hanging out. Okay, Popo. That's fine by me. What about you, Tanya? Are you okay with people knowing that we hang out? You go tell everyone. Go tell them what you saw here today. <laughs> it's gonna be hard with them. Good. Tanya. Popo. <laughs> One time. How do you know these druggies? <laughs> Which drug? Of course you're druggies. Your name's just Skids and Popo. <laughs> Look, Stephanie, if you're gonna wanna be with me, you have to know that I have a new policy of not judging people by, the, by their appearance. So I hope that you would retract what you just said about Skids and Popo. I'm sure they're, Sorry, they're guys. very lovely people. Sorry, guys. You, you're probably pretty cool, right? No. We're going to embarrass all of you at school tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Actually, once I was already filming this. Filming it? Yeah. We're just standing outside my house. Exactly. What? Look, the tragedy really affected Boom. us. Boom. On YouTube. Yesterday's tragedy, honestly, like, it really affected us. We got kind of weird. Uh, we don't know how to handle it, what happened. You're my best buds, I kids. saw a lot of people die. <laughs> all I'm saying is, can I come into your house? <laughs> 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 um, no? <laughs> you know what? Stephanie, Skids, man. Stephanie, we better just let him in. Okay. Skids, man. What the hell do you say, Tanya? We only need each other. What the hell do we need these clowns for? I just want to steal their TV. Take, oh, take Stephanie's what? TV. That's my TV. <laughs> we were going to watch porn on that TV. And I'm taking this clock. Tick tock. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that was my grandpa's clock. Oh, no. God, life is terrible. Stephanie? Yeah? I'm your grandpa now. Okay. End scene. scene. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, yeah. Okay, you get a scene. Your character's okay. dead. This is a two-parter. <laughs> okay. We've got... This is a flashback. Ten minutes. Okay. This is a flashback. Okay. To the day before the... The, the uh, prom. The prom. Okay. Okay. I... I'm Jack Joyce, and I'm making a phone call. Okay. okay. Yo. What? <laughs> I know who stole your drugs and killed Nico. Go on. <laughs> Stephanie Quimby. What? And Tanya. I don't know any of these names. <laughs> Listen, the point is, is that they both don't respect me. And I've been feeling it for a long time. Oh, man. And if you want vengeance for Miko, and if you want your drugs back, I recommend paying them a visit at 232-189643 Dewberry <laughs> Street, Avenue Boulevard. All right, look, I'm gonna need you to repeat that. I didn't have a pen ready. <laughs> Two three two one nine eight four six three two four Dewberry Street Lane Boulevard Avenue. Listen, Rubio does not like snitches. However, 
I appreciate this information. <laughs> You'll never hear from this me again. Wipe. Click. Flash forward to yeah. the day after everything. Well, I can't rings. believe those motherfuckers just stole our TV. Doorbell rings. Oh, who the hell is that? Oh, no. Open the door. Miko sends his regards! Oh my god! Oh my god! Who the fuck is Where Miko? Are you doing? Oh, 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 no, hang on! Hang on! I can help you. Your pal is swimming with the fishes. What do you got to say about it? I, I don't even know who this is. <coughs> Maybe you show really me the heroin. You? And I spare your little life. You know what? You're right. I probably don't deserve to- <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Tanya! Shut up, Stephanie! Oh god. Uh, Shut up, Stephanie is her last, last word. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now what we do is you roll, roll your dice. We've got eight minutes, so let's do this quick. Roll your dice, and every character except... Man, that went bad for all of us. <laughs> okay, so you roll your dice, and you subtract the low number out of the high number, and then that gives you your um, thing. I only have white. So, dice. for instance, I have nine white, two black, so I'm plus five white, yeah. basically. Got it. So then look at the aftermath table that you have in your handouts that I gave okay, you. Okay, so this would be eight, six minus eight is two black. Yeah, so you've got two black. I've got... 13 white. Man. Okay. So we'll just do one a piece. So just quickly go through and sum up what happens to your character. Uh, I'll start. I got 13 plus. I got 13 white, which is the best you can get. Whoa. Oh, awesome. Uh, uh, so fan fucking tastic. It's fat times ahead, safe and secure. That thing you would make that would make your life better. Oh, you got it absolutely. And then some. And then some more. Enjoy it. So I'm dead. But mm -hmm. it turns out that my whole life I was wrong and God is real. And oh, okay. I'm in heaven. And uh, my parents are both there, and we're all very happy, and I have a really cute girlfriend, and everything is wonderful um, forever and ever and ever for all eternity. Uh, white five, <laughs> miserable. You are humiliated in a big public way, and whatever reputation you once had is now in dirty pieces all around you. You'll never think of these days without a shudder of horror of your own aggressive stupidity. Uh, it works. I'm sitting at the dinner table with my parents. Oh, <laughs> you got out of it. Yeah, Rob went to jail. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I just like, I'm stirring my mashed potatoes, and my dad says, Hey son, how was school today? And I say, it sucked. And my dad says, good. <laughs> you were responsible for the deaths of so many people, and your brother went to jail for it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, what's yours? Uh, black, eight to nine, nothing to write at home about. Back to where you started, maybe sore and broke, just like yesterday and tomorrow. You probably learned something, though, like how to do it right next time, next time. So I got to heaven and realized I was, a, well, didn't realize I was a big bitch the whole time in life. Um, so now, in heaven, I am one of the unpopular people. Wow. Oh. Twilight Zone shit right yeah. there. Yeah. That ending. That's I'm good. trying to work my way back up to the popularity, but there are some dicks in heaven, so. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right, what happened to you? Mine was two black, brutal. Wounds that will never heal, for starters. Stuff sawed off, blown off, or burned off on your way to grand, ignominious failure. Kiss whatever you care about and goodbye. You may die, but you may not. Well, I'm already dead. So... How did Jack Joyce die again? Suicide. Oh, yeah, right. Shut himself in front of me. So, he wanted to go to hell. But he killed himself, so he... The Catholics were right, apparently. Yeah. yeah. So he got sent to heaven. What? No, you go to purgatory. Yeah, he, yeah. Got, he got sent to purgatory, and he's just stuck there. He, he, he sees Tanya and everyone having fun up in heaven, <laughs> and he sees all of the, the victims of his wake in hell, and he just has to sit there and die alone. This guy has no idea what he did wrong in the first place. Or, <laughs> that's what, that's or why how the afterlife yeah. works. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's Fiasco High. 
Thanks for watching, Bye. everybody. Uh, it got pretty spicy toward the yeah. end. I like yeah. spicy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, next week, I think we'll be back with D and D again with our uh, normal campaign. Ben will be back DMing, so ben please join back. us then. Uh, have a good every whatever. Bye.